you, you, you too. What's up? It's your boy, Coffee with the Foe, and I'm back at you with another video. So if you like the sneaker content I've been bringing you, what I need you to do is like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube page. And today, I'm about to take it back to 2003, first day of high school. I had this jersey. This is from high school. Let me let y'all see this full jersey. This that P. Miller. That P. Miller. Percy Miller. Y'all remember when P. Miller had his little clothing brand? I got this from Suit Mart. This is 2003 old. I ain't even been down like that. I only feel like raising my camera like that. But y'all see, this is the jersey I had on first day of high school. I had to tuck it in. Mr. Cummins class, third period, I get there. Whole whole morning, I went without tucking my jersey. And I was like, screw that. I get to Mr. Cummins class. He's like, you got to tuck your jersey in. That's the school policy. I'm like, man, whatever. And he started asking me like questions like, do you know who, who wore that dress? I was like. I guess a baller. It say it say baller on the back. I was like, I guess a baller. I don't know, a nugget player? Cause this is P. Miller jersey based off the Denver Nuggets throwback jersey. I was like, I don't know, Alice English? Carmelo Anthony? I don't know. I just started naming players. And we got in this whole discussion. So I I got this on to say this shoe right here. It's the exact shoe I wore first day of high school to go with this jersey. I don't have the pants. It was some Ivisu. No, I'm lying. It was some Evolution shorts. They were all black, but with the faded gray in it. If y'all remember, like right around the thigh part, it was faded when we had those jeans back in the day. And they was big but and also I saw this this is another eBay pickup and this this pickup actually inspired by two people too as well it's inspired by BAA aka black ass African aka black aka black Jesus Carrier, UPS, cartoon, my shipping. But, ooh, I ain't seen this box in years. Y'all, I don't think nobody rocking with these. I had to get a size 8, but high school, ninth grade. Is that up? Oh, British Knights. BKs. Look at that, look at that. I don't remember my box looking like this. This is a size eight. Same size I got in high school. I paid 50 for these, but in high school, I got these for $20. Got them off the clearance rack. I remember getting these and I had just came from spending like a couple of weeks in my best friend's house I know since pre-K. And I come home so my mom could take me to school clothes shopping. And I got all these clothes, and then my mom was like, I don't got a lot of money to get some shoes, so find some dirt cheap. I was like, what's my price range? She was like, if you can, try to get something under 30 if you can, but but $50 is your max. So I was like, all right. I wear a 7 too. And I saw these. Let me, before I get into it, the colorway is black, white. Warrior Blue. These are, hold up, it's um, BMK, I guess it's supposed to be British Knight, XV, 0923, King, SL Deluxe. Let me take this box down. I don't know what this is, but I got these off eBay. British night, no stamp, nothing really too much. Woo! Let me show y'all the actual wrapping paper. If y'all can see that, it say British night on there. 
I don't know if y'all can really, really see that. Yeah, there you go. British Knights on there. This double wrap. Ooh, high school. High school. Ooh. And my mom was like, try, back, a little back to the store. She was like, try to get something under 50 and I wore seven. I saw these. And I was like, mom, I want these. They're $20. She was like, okay, first day of school, I went with these. Woo, with the strap on them. Tell y'all, tell y'all, I tell y'all. Inside, I don't know if y'all can, yeah, can see that. It say British Knight, say something else. Yeah, it say BK and then it say British Knights. You got that BK right there. We, I'm not a gangbanger for what I'm about to say, but back in high school, we used to call these blood killers. And the reason why we called that, cause you never seen a red player, a uh, pair come in red. When I was in high school, everybody that had them, had like a white and gray, black and white, white and black, or these. But you never seen any that had red in them. We used to be like, man, you got them blood killers on. You got them blood killers on. And if you was a blood, we'd be like, Hey, bro, how you wearing BKs and you a blood? And he used to be like, man, this stands for Blood Kingdom. We used to make jokes like that back in high school. It say British Knight right there. Got the BK right there. Got the BK right there. Got this little, like, pebble print going right across here. The leg on here is horrible. I'm not going to lie. That leather is horrible. Y'all see? With the black laces, I might swap these laces out and get some blue ones. Got to hit up a uh, sneakerhead clothing line. The tongue says, I don't want to be in my tongue, but it says British Knight right there. I don't remember these shoes being this heavy or this bulky. BK on the back, but man, this is a dope, dope shoe. And you know what I'm about to do? I'm about to give y'all that good old home feet with the jersey. Home. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Woo, let me know. If y'all still rocking with BKs, if y'all got a pair and y'all just don't wear them, let me know. Brand new, fresh pair. I don't even remember the bottles being like that. British Knight. I mean, I don't know why I say British Knight. But it say British on the bottle. I don't remember exactly how my pair looked as far as the bottom and how chunky it was. I just know it was this whole bill. That's all I remember. And I was like, Mom, I want these. They $20 is in the price range. She was like, okay, we can get them. But Mr. Lick the Bottoms, call me that. Let's get into this on feet. So drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these. And let's get to it. On the classic boy, hottest podcast on the street. White and ratchet boy. Speak up now if you got a problem with me. Focus on a different level. Now that I got my daughter with me. Oh, uh, yeah. I got Kiara with me. Fatherhood look good on me. Still keep it raw and gritty. Yeah. I'm getting down to business though. Flow make them say hallelujah. Can I get a witness though? They asked me how I did it though. My condition was critical. Tell them it wasn't rocket size. God performed a miracle. Ain't trying to be super lyrical. I just talk my talk. Do it bad of nowhere. If ever ain't fair, this is not my fault. It's my cake day. I did it the fat Drake way. Do it on the accelerator. Never pump the brakes way. Ain't tripping off what they say about me. All they ever did was doubt me. The game ain't as interesting without me. Cause oh, I just stay on my hustle. I stay out the way. I ain't had a drink in 637 days. Facts. This ain't no act. This is non fiction. This is hard living mixed with me and God's vision. Doing numbers over under like I'm doing long division. Came a long way from no pots of pissing. Really ain't got no competition. It's me against me to be the best me. I'm all on top of the game like I work for ESPN They gotta let me in or I'm kicking the dough down Making the most of my second check I'ma kill if this go well Man, it's about to go down Game over if you ask me The vibes is up every time I touch a Ronnie Cash B8 Sneak that suckers talk past me I'm not game cool I can do the dance as long as you explain the moves to me From yours truly, though, Bithy is the GOAT It's the realest ish I wrote This game is soaking every quote Boy, I'm about to make it uncomfortable